Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. That was weird. What are you doing? Like It looked like I lagged for a second, but oh, you didn't anyway, you guys, welcome back to another episode of For the Long Hour Podcast. Of course, it's me, Brandon Longside. Blaine. And if you guys want to uh, just give it a pre-show banter, go to about 5 minutes, 30 seconds, and that's when the actual thing would begin. It's just going to be a life update. Honestly, I feel like it won't... You Not guys just won't so going to be a life update. We don't talk much about the episode pre. Just a little bit. Move. We move on. And it's not just anything. All right. But anyway, so I thought we could talk about, because it's going to be relevant still whenever this goes live, is the World Cup. And right now, oh. I am conflicted a little bit. Why? Be- Today is a happy but sad day. Argentina advanced to the round of 16. Messi is one step closer to getting... His World Cup that so many people want him to win. Okay. But me- despite Mexico winning their game, they did not make enough goals to advance. Okay. So what about USA? USA USA advanced despite probably uh, – did they tie one? Did, despite, I think, tying two they games. They tied the first game. I know that. They tied and against they – was, did, then they tied against England, which was a nil-nil. And then they beat Iran. I think it was one or two to zero. I think it so was one to zero, unless they scored yeah. another one last minute. They, now they're also in the round of sixteen too, and their opponent is, and it's actually confirmed who they're facing. And I think it's this Saturday, which I hate the fact that almost all the games I have wanted to watch, I've had to be at work for. Ah, uh, yeah. But uh, they're facing against. Netherlands on this Saturday. U.S. Yep, USA versus okay. Netherlands this Saturday. Uh, the only game I watched, I was so devastated by. It was, I somehow woke up on time for it. It was 4 o'clock in the morning our time. Saudi Arabia versus Argentina, which I think was probably one of the most surprising games of this entire tournament because Argentina lost 0-2 against Saudi Arabia. Something that, unless you have video or audio recording of yourself saying, and you say you caught it, I do not believe you. Uh huh. Wow. See, and I'm 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 out of it to even understand that. Like, just why? Why? Like, Argentina is, I think, was ranked number one right in the world before going in. In Saudi Arabia, most Asian countries and African teams, people are like, okay, you guys are gonna probably lose. Unfortunately, that's how it is for them. Mm hmm. Okay. And then, like, somehow they just won. Like, none of their players are, f- are playing any European league. All of their players play in their local country's uh, league. None of oh, them so are they don't overseas. expect them to have that skill. Yeah. Because they're not in the main. They're not in, like, the Premier League. They're not in La Liga. Yeah. They're not in, like, the German League or anything like that. They're just in their local league. And, like, you know, when it comes to soccer, if you want to for for leagues, you want to go to the European leagues. You want to go to La Liga, La Premier League. Those mm-hmm. those where they cultivate amazing players. Not yeah. And this everybody was just like, "What happened? What?" And then everybody was like, "Is like, is this the end of Argentina before it began?" Mm-hmm. Yeah. Nah? Then they won against Mexico, which I was like, "Yes," but ah, uh, because I yeah. want to make because because that was a tough game. Because I was talking to our friend Juan, he was like. He was like, he was like, at one hand, I want Mexico to win, but on the other hand, Messi. And everybody knows, mm-hmm. it's like, you know, you can't hate Messi. You can't. Yeah. He's just too good. He's got a freaking skin on COD. You know that? Okay, was that an actual thing? I thought that was a meme somebody It was somebody an ad. On, I opened COD like yesterday, and it was like, get the Messi skin. I was like, what? He's on oh there. There's, there's also Neymar. Neymar's on there. Oh, my God. What about Ronaldo? I don't know. I think I saw Neymar, though. Oh my god, that's so crazy! There's yeah, but probably a third. Yeah. Anyway, like you're lucky you get a, you have been able to see the games I haven't really. I've only been able to watch two. I would definitely watch that one because like everybody was watching it, so I joined in. The other one, not so much. Just a little bit at the end, like once it hit ninety minutes, I mean, a little come, bit. I mean, come on, it's it's USA. Even if you're not a soccer fan, you have to watch USA. Oh yeah, if it wasn't the fact that I you know should be working, I probably would have watched the whole thing. Yeah, but that's why I watched. A decent amount of the first one trying to work at the same time watching it, which makes you not very efficient. And then this other one, I I knew it was coming on, but I watched it hardly at all because, you know, I got stuff I got to do. I could have watched it. 
but yep. yeah, I didn't want to. Well, I, I I needed stuff. I got hit. I had to get stuff done. Yeah. Well, I know about to yeah. come up on a time frame. I just want to say I hope Argentina wins it. They have mm-hmm. th- it's confirmed who they're playing next because they just qualified today. They're facing Australia. I feel like that's going to be an easy slam dunk for them. So that means they're either going to face Netherlands or or USA, depending on who wins. There you go. All right, hard stop at five thirty because that's how this works. Boom. Hey everybody, welcome to the Fort Long All Podcast, the main portion. Thanks for listening, Pre. If you lo- we're here for that. If not, well, that's okay. It's for you, and if you want it, you got it. So it's me, Blaine, of course, sitting alongside Brandon, which we did earlier. But here we are again. So today we're gonna have a life update. Just because we hadn't done one since like late July, posted it early was that august yeah i get my september august mixed up all the time and so it's been a minute and we've mentioned things here and there but we just haven't done an official life update so just come in coming in for a short one just kind of you know really in so you want to go first Mm, yeah so i think the biggest one and the reason i've honestly been pushing to do this for a while is because uh, in about, hold on, is it about two or is it about three weeks? Okay, so we got a, oh, oh, my, my, okay, so, okay, so in a little over two weeks, like two weeks and two days, I'm going to be entering in a Pokemon Go tournament up in Arlington, Texas. And oh. if I somehow, miraculously, I, I, I don't think I'm going to win somehow. I know my skill set. I am not going to go somehow get to the final two. Mm-hmm. But if I somehow am in the final two, I am guaranteed. I am I am given an invitation to go to the World Championship next summer. That's going to be hosted this uh, in Japan next year. What? Yes, because so wow. po- Pokemon has a a World Championship almost every single year. I don't think they've had one in the past two years because of COVID, but they always have a championship. Last year was the first time that Pokemon Go was added to the World Championship. It's us- it's uh, usually mm. the VGC, which is the main series video games, like in the competitive battle for them. The TCG, which is a trading card game. Mm-hmm. And then they've been doing, like, if they have any other games, they do it. Like, they- they've done Pokemon Unite, which is like a League of Legends meets Pokemon kind of game. Oh, okay. Um, Pokemon, um, basically Pokemon Street Fighter, but I think that last year was the last year they had it. And I think one or two other games that 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 had a competitive scene were in the war won the uh, war championship. Okay. Last year was held in London. Next, this upcoming year is going to be held in uh, Japan. That's cool, man. So if I somehow, I, 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 I what I just play is I don't get knocked out because what do you usually? Because I've been watching it to kind of like learn learn the meta, like see what I can do, what I should do, what I shouldn't do. Like you know, learning, been watching the these upcoming these tournaments have been going on since then. Yeah. Uh they usually do like a double elimination. So you know, if you lose, you get to the lose losers bracket. Then you know, they'll if you lose, you're out. What okay. I'm hoping for doesn't happen is I'm in a bracket, I go to the losers bracket, then get knocked out. As long as that doesn't happen, I'm happy. Uh-huh. Simple best case scenario, I get some I'll get second place. Simple awesome, how did this happen scenario? I get first place, and I not only get an invitation to World Championship, but my flight is already paid for. Damn, that's first place win. You get a flight. Yeah, a flight. It's either that or I think six thousand dollars you get. That's freaking sweet. Yeah, if I somehow get that, I'm gonna be Jerry from episode three, season one of Rick and Morty. But he's like, I don't, I don't know how I got here. I just kept on calling, and and I just kept walking. So I just kept calling, mm-hmm. and I just kept walking. Whenever they yeah. were invading the planet, and all yeah, I remember. Just like, now it's gonna be me if that happens. I'm like, I know how I got here. I know how I got here. Oh my gosh! So you're gonna have to do like the tapping and stuff like that, like tapping yeah, as best yeah, you can yeah. things. Yeah. Oh boy! Like kind of okay. like I was tap. Try to predict what my opponent's gonna do when they're gonna use those special moves and all that. Because so like. You also have two shields and like you know you have your super moves and all that basically. Yeah. And so I gotta try to figure out, okay, is this gonna is those super move gonna be effective against me? Should I should I try to tank this? Should I just use my shield? Do I wanna mm-hmm. lose this? Do I rather let them just have it and all that? Like, you know, it's yeah, you just simple chess. tap, tap, tap. But then you also gotta think about like other stuff that you won't usually think about is like, 
shield and all of that. It's like, do I, can I trick them into using those shield when I don't, when like, you know, this is a bait and all that and I want them to use it Ooh, okay. and all that stuff. Because, you know, you have moves that you can do because you can sometimes try to make it to where like you wanted them just to use it fast and all that. Mm-hmm. Oh, they think it's like, oh, he's going to use something that's going to one hit KO me. Turns out you didn't. They just protected that for no reason in the down the Ooh. shield. And then now you get to mess him up. Yeah. That's cool, man. That's going to be really neat. You've been just playing it this whole time. Like, if you, that, if you yeah, that'd be cool. Also, the reason I'm doing it is because uh, me and Jay saw it. We were talking about it on the Pokemon one, and I was like, you know what? <laughs> Screw it. Why not? I'll sign up. Worst case, I get humiliated. Best case, I somehow go to Japan. You gotta, like, record it or something somehow, like, while you're there. I know they usually stream it on Twitch and all that, and but they ch- they don't show every match. They choose which matches to show. Okay. Well, then you'll get a little something. That'll be cool. Yeah. yeah. That's sweet, man. Yeah. Uh, slowly, panic slowly uh, going into me. I think the tournament... I think they have the opening ceremony. I think is on the sixteenth of December. Then it's the official. I think first day is the seventeenth. I'm not sure. I gotta double check. Okay. So as of right now, mm-hmm. it should be me going. Jay's coming along. He already bought his spectator pass, and then I need to buy Morgan's spectator pass because I mentioned this to him, and he's like, "Hey, let me go support you and all that." I was like, "Really?" I was like, "Yeah, why not?" I was like, "Well, Thanks. then he ought to buy his own spectator patch." Well, he- I mean, like. He's got a way better job. <laughs> well, I mean, I mean, I I already have, have all the information. You, he, he I already have just, all the information, so I'm just gonna do it. You gotta buy himself one. It's not that much, and and come watch. Yeah. But anyway, uh, you you next. Uh, like we typically go back and forth. Oh, okay, okay, cool. I got some bullet points. So, since the last time we chatted, it was right at the beginning. Of me starting, or just right before, I think I just started when I got when we did the last quality of life update. Mm-hmm. Excuse me. So I started the new job at a place. Uh, we'll just call a new place. I I I don't know. Just I don't like to mention the names of where I'm at. Yeah, yeah. Pers- personal thing. And uh, so working at a new startup company, been around for a year and. Six months almost, year and a half almost, huh? since like July last year. And things are going really well. I sell, I think I've mentioned catering already, um, yeah. as part of one of our many segments of our business that we do. And it's it's really cool. It's really interesting. I've gotten, you know, financially doing good with that. And also, in a sense, gotten a raise already in this quarter. Oh, nice. uh, since I've been there since July, in, in form of commission, just being able to earn more during this time period, which is really cool. And uh, so just incentivizing me to sell more. But yeah, so I sell I sell catering, which I never thought I'd be here. And it's really cool. I'm really I really like where I'm at. But yeah, I, I specialize catering in catering accessories. <laughs> yeah. And uh, so I sell catering to any spot that's not in, inside of any of our spaces or venues or whatnot. So outside of our four walls that we operate or own. And so going to an event, putting on an entire thing, doing a grand opening, dropping, you know, setting up drop off items for people to self serve, passing hors d'oeuvres, bartenders, pop up bars, all that cool fun stuff. Anywhere we can do play to dinners, up, down, all the way. Uh, we got staff, TABC, we can serve liquor around here in the local area. And so there's a lot that we can do, and that's the stuff I sell. That's what I know about this stuff because I sell this stuff on a daily basis. And uh, so, yeah, that's kind of – and I haven't talked in depth about it because the last time we got together, I didn't have you know, a lot to say exactly yet because mm-hmm. I was new. I, I hadn't been in it yet, really. And even if I was in it yet when we recorded, but I think I was right at the beginning. So everything's going really well. It's really exciting because where we are with our business – is that it constantly changes in terms of there's always new things and interesting stuff to do. And uh, opportunities is the big buzzword here. And so at this moment, we're actually looking to uh, kind of evolve our business in a sense. It's probably where I'll leave it. I don't know how much I should really discuss. You know, 
in the one off shoot for some reason this flies across the world. You know what I mean? But I wouldn't think it's a problem. But I think it's professional not to. Oh uh, no, no, yeah, totally, totally. But uh, but we're uh, looking to evolve our business in a, a sense, which is really cool. So what we're already doing, what I do now, in evol- in evolving our services and whatnot, which is now getting really vague, but doing even more than we do already. And we already do a lot. Where hands are in many different projects, venues, restaurants, coffee shops, fun stuff. And so, and I don't, I'm not day to day in those other things. I am in some ven- the, our venue all the time, but, uh, but my, my day to day is selling our catering, talking to people, coming up with quotes. What, what are you looking for? What do you need? Can we do that? Can we not? Let me talk to our chef, blah, blah, blah. And so that's kind of, that's kind of what I do all the time. Play, Place of work wise, being a part of it, it's great. I love it. It's the first place I've ever been to that is, you know, that's a W 2 type thing. That's not like a 1099 self employed, which is different. So, a place that it's working at a job, you have an obligation. Um, first place I've ever been to, it's just like, hey, um, you know, like, I'm sorry, I'm let's say 20 minutes late. They're like, oh, it's okay. Don't even worry about it as long as you're here for eight hours that's freaking sweet. Like they really are huge on like employee satisfaction and uh, you know, feeling part of the team and uh, you know, not doing their best not to overwork people. Some points as we grow, people are worked kind of hard and then we get to a point that we can, we can get another person to help with that segment, but they're really big on taking care of each other which is really cool. Just like that aspect, like, Oh, you know, coming 20 minutes later. Oh, I, you know, I came in an hour early today. Do I still need to like stay till five? Like, no, no, you can just, you can leave four. Like, that's okay. Or even like, well, you worked extra the other day. You can just leave, just leave an hour early today. Like literally that's, that's what they, that's, that's what they do. It's just like, Oh, you worked all day on Monday. Well, take, take a half day on fr- like Friday. That's not, as much black and white on that typically it's just like you maybe worked a couple of hard days but like i have the liberty of being able to you know do that like oh i worked several hours five hours extra on friday well i'll leave two hours extra on tuesday and i mean it can be an even trade too it's not always like oh you give us five i'll give you two you know give them more give you less kind of thing they're not about that either which is really really cool and so i have superb work-life balance here and I really enjoy where I'm at and the momentum of where we're going and everything that we're a part of and how strong and how quickly we're growing as a business and the amount of revenue, just gross revenue that we're already making at this point is insane. It's so cool as just our conglomerate as a whole. And uh, so I'm going to be a part of that is fantastic and really interesting and really fun. Every day is you got new things going on. I got stuff to do. You know, it's not like they're not killing. I'm not being killed with stuff, but I have a mountain of stuff to do always in a good sense. Like I could not work as hard if I chose to, and it would be okay. But I choose to work harder because I want to make more sales and stuff like that too. But yeah, it's great. I, I love it. It's awesome. I love the people I work with. I love what I get to do. I love the variety of what I do because I do different stuff. I go to an event. You know, I stay in office several days a week. I go to networking things. Uh, I'm going tomorrow to have a meeting with the client and uh, at their office, and uh, which I think is kind of kind of interesting. But they asked for in person meetings, so I said, okay, sure. You know, uh, for a contract which is kind of close. So like, if we're meeting tomorrow, like I need them, to, they're going to need to give me a decision tomorrow. Like we need to prepare for the event. But uh, I'm, I mean, in person meeting, like we don't really need to do that. So there must be. The guy's boss, he was referring to like when they were available, must be like an old school person. Yeah, that's like, hey, what I was we thinking. Meet in person. And because it's the only thing that makes sense. Because I've done every single deal that I've done, lots of money wise, you know, 10 grand, whatever. Uh, I did not have to meet anyone in person. Uh, I've done some tastings for people and met them in person, you know, because I want to try the food and I get that. But other than that, no, yeah, like yeah. That, that, that makes total sense. Yeah. But like just that, just to meet, to talk about what we're talking about already, which is achievable over a phone call and or a, vo- a video call. If you want to see me, my lovely self, uh, you could do that too. 
But uh, but I, you know, I'm not gonna deny them on that. It's not like I'm not capable of going to do that. If it was, not, if I wasn't capable, I would say, well, it could be just do a video call. But I'm I'm capable of going over there, so it's not like far. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so I'm gonna go. I'm gonna dress up. I put on a suit I ain't worn in like a year tomorrow. One of my, you know, seven suits. I haven't worn my nice plaid one in uh in a while. I mean, oh honestly, I maybe I maybe shouldn't wear the plaid one. It's kind of casual, but at the same time, I'm but, showing up to an a, to meet a client up for a catering event, which is for a professional sense. But if they are old school, maybe I shouldn't come in with a casual suit. You know what I mean? I'm still wearing a suit though, so like. You literally mentioned this suit. I, I little that like you literally mentioned in the episode I was recording last night. You literally just mentioned that one again because I was editing one of the episodes last night. Uh, that's the one you mentioned. You mentioned that plaid suit. The plaid, well, I the have plaid three suit plaid that. suits. That's just a winter plaid suit. Okay, so maybe it's not the same. But I was like, oh my god, did he literally just mention this? And I literally listened to him talk about this yesterday. I think I said something probably like I'm always looking for an excuse to wear a plaid suit, and uh, you know maybe maybe, but uh, but yeah I don't know I'm thinking about what I'll wear, uh, over there, if it's they're old school I have to go meet him in person I probably should just wear a more, not casual suit, we'll see, I'll come up with something I'm gonna wear a suit because just because. I don't think I need to but I will. <laughs> yeah. I got seven I gotta wear them I don't wear them anymore. Yeah, you gotta find it. I mean, you you don't need a reason to wear to wear them. It's just go out, wear them just because you want to. Yeah, no, exactly. Yeah, I've, I've worn no, them but, to work. Uh, I've worn them to networking meetings. But let's move on. Uh, the so, next one, but I, you get next. Yeah, the next one I can think of is the fact that uh, last month, uh, me, uh, so I think around the beginning of November or, or later of October, uh, this uh other Pokemon Go uh. Uh, content creator followed us on our Instagram page, so we followed them back. I didn't know they were from Texas until I checked out one of the other social medias, which was they had a Twitter site. So checked out the Twitter, just want to see what mm -hmm. uh, what did they do and all that. In his bio, he had I think Dallas, Dallas or Dallas Fort Worth, one of the two. But anyway, mm -hmm. I, I messaged them after I saw that. I was like, "Hey, man, uh, well from well from Granbury and all that." He's like, "You know, well about like an hour, hour and a half from you." Uh, blah, blah blah. It's like, would you want to meet up some sometime? Maybe do a collab and all that. And he was like, yeah. It's like, hey. And then you know, we talked. We had him on the podcast, and he typically mm -hmm. does interviews for like players that play Pokemon Go or like content creators of Pokemon Go or Pokemon in general and all that. He's relatively yeah. new, just like we are and all that. So he interviewed me and Jay recently. My episode is up. I think Jay's. Is, uh, mine was uploaded last week. He did somebody else this week, and I think Jay's gonna be next week. Okay, and I've actually been listening to his stuff and all that, and we're gonna meet up in Arlington for the tournament. He's not competing; he's just gonna spectate. But you know, me mm -hmm. and Jay are gonna meet up with him and all that though too. That's cool. So man. my interview is up on his thing. If you want to listen to him, man, uh, let me know. I'll send you the thing. I haven't all listened right, to cool. mine because I have a thing where like I can't listen to myself. Like once you edit yourself so much, it's like I don't know for me, but it's also because I'm always self conscious and not sure self-conscious of myself and critical of myself so i'm like oh my god oh my mm -hmm. god you know so yeah. i don't typically try to listen to stuff that i'm in and all that because mm -hmm. more than i have to but i'm gonna listen yeah. to jace because i want to listen to jace but That's he cool, followed man. us like you know so like you know he we had him on our show he interviewed us and all that uh my episode's out i think jace is about to be next week uh -huh. and we're gonna meet up with them in uh arlington uh, in about a couple of weeks cool man that sounds like an exciting time yeah we were being interviewed though. I was like, uh, yeah. we were being interviewed because, like, and he did me and Jay said because, like, it was going to be like, uh, questions were going to lead off to other questions and all that. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's good. And, yeah. that's and twice, I've actually been listening to his stuff and your podcast. He like, will he feature it? Your podcast? Is he going to feature no. like your podcast? No, no, no yeah. So, he, yeah. No, so he interviewed me and then, you know, we talked about the podcast for a little bit and all that. He, he talked, we talked about me and we talked about the podcast and all that. So he is going to feature your podcast on his thing. No, yeah, he he mentioned. No, us. yeah. No, no, I said no. Yeah, he is. Okay. Like at the end of the episode, we we plugged in our stuff and all that, and we let him plug his stuff in. But I think okay. on the episode title and all that uh, for mine, let me see if I can pull it up because I started following his uh, his uh, 
his uh, podcast and all that and listen to it. Let's see, blah, blah, blah. That's what I was just trying to figure out. I figured he did say, hey, these guys are from this. Yeah, yeah, because this, 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 is, this is the title. Train those eyes, number 13, a challenger approaches featuring, which is my gamer tag, Dominus Omega, which, you know, that's become my thing for everything now, for all, all video games and all that, from Let's Go Pokemon Podcast. Cool. That's cool, man. Yeah, he's More interviewed players and, like, other content creators and all that. It's shaking my thing. That's he, inter- sweet. he even interviewed one of the, from I think, the champion from the uh, Salt Lake City regionals and all that. I was, like, I saw mm-hmm. him listen to his stuff and all that. That's really cool. Yeah. That's neat, dude. That would be cool. That's good exposure for yeah. the brand. And then just you'll have fun, what you already did. So you already had yeah. fun. But uh, all right, yeah. man. Yeah, that's the second big thing I can think of that's happened. Okay. My second big thing is my trip to Kansas. I Ooh. went to, for my buddy's wedding. Um, or old lifelong friend of mine over there uh jordan lives in kansas and uh, and i went to see him but also the reason why i was down is because of a wedding which is his friend that i'm also friends with because i met them a long time ago well because of him and uh and so and they're up there and they live up there in kansas and so he's like hey y'all should come to the wedding and so um i went up there Went with, hung out with Jordan. You know, he let me stay in his house. He's got a new house, I think, last year. Oh, nice. I think you mentioned that to me one time. Yeah, got a new house. They're giving away houses in Kansas, man. Giving them away. I mean, mean, I'm talking about like 130, 160. I mean, come on. I mean, it's Kansas. Like, nobody wants to live in a tornado. I mean, the tornado alley spreads across several states. I was just in a flat spot with not much going on. Dude, I was in Wichita. That place is slow. Now that I live in Austin, I can't believe how like not busy Wichita is at any point during the day. It's crazy. It's like mm-hmm. Granbury, with but not one main road, you know. Wait, but it's isn't Wichita left. the capital though? Yeah, yeah. It was weird, man. It was really weird. I got a picture in the middle of the road because I was like, "This will be cool." There's no cars, and I just like stood in the middle of the road and took a picture. But um. But yeah, oh man, no! Super cool. No what? correction. The capital what? is. I'm so gonna butcher this name. Topeka, and the largest city is Wichita. Oh, it's Topeka. Oh, I thought it was Wichita. Oh, well. No, Wichita okay. is the is the biggest city in Kansas. Well, geography's not my thing. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, it was cool, man. Getting to see him, get to hang out. We did a bunch of stuff. Enjoyed. Uh, you know, getting I ain't seen him in over a year or two. Maybe two years, and uh, so it was cool. Maybe it's been a year. I can't remember. No, uh, no, you went last year. You won last year. I did. Yeah. Did I really? I, it, yeah. I can't remember. <laughs> but yeah, it was cool, man. Oh no, he came down here. He, I didn't go last year. He came down here last. Year. Oh no, no, no. Yeah, yeah. That was it. That yeah. was it. Because I think so. He got peed on by a limo. I think right. Yeah, dude, he did. That's right. I remember. Yeah, we were here with all the lemurs and stuff. But yeah, it was super cool going down there. It was a you know like a seven. Seven and a half hour drive, and uh, so a bit of a trip. Now that I've moved further south away from Kansas, Wichita, where he lives at, and uh, but yeah, it was cool. Really enjoyed it. All right, you got any more bullet points? I got a couple. I got two more. Uh, uh, the on the TikTok I made, I made. I think it was March or May. I think I made for the Pokemon podcast. Yeah. Uh, earlier this year we hit a hundred followers. And we're slowly beginning about a follower a day at least minimum. I'd slow down a little bit because I, October I made it a challenge to post every single day. In November I've only posted about two times a week, so okay. it slowed down a little bit. But I have an idea of how to start posting every day in November, in December, or for the majority of December. Uh-huh. I just need to find a way to start uploading about two to three things a week, on um, three to there four things a week on the TikTok. But right now, what, 150? Small chance maybe we can make it to 200 by the end of the year. Ooh, cool, man. And how long you been? How long has that been up? Uh, since March. So, you know, it's not crazy, but for, to me, it's like, you know, I, I'm like, okay, I'm happy with that. Like, you know, especially because I've been seeing, I've been getting notifications at least once a day that we get a, a one video gets a like and a follow and all that. I'm like, okay, nice. It's like, you know, uh-huh. that's slow momentum and all that, but that's, 
yeah. a nice thing to see. It's like a fo- almost a follow a day and a like a day on a video. That's nice to see, especially when sometimes the videos are auto videos and all that. I'm like, yeah. okay, nice, nice. It's, you know, slow and steady wins the race. Yeah, sweet, dude. I uh, I forgot to even mention this, which I think is really funny. Um, so I've recently started, you know, a YouTube <laughs> channel. And uh, you tell me to shush? No, no, I was about to say the name. Oh, uh, recently, and which actually is the color theme in the back here, pretty much. Um, I recently started unintentionally, like, though. Unintentionally, un- though. True. And uh, but I I started it earlier in the year when I got like my gaming PC, and because uh, I've always I wanted to, and I've always for a long time people have told me like you should like have videos. Like, why do you not? Have, you're really good at games, and you're funny, and it goes really well together. And, uh, and so I was like, I mean, I should be, I should. and for the longest time I was like, my internet's too slow. I have an Xbox. I'm going to plug all this stuff in. Like I have a laptop. I didn't do anything. And then I got a gaming PC this year. I was like, I'm going to do it. And, uh, so I posted a couple videos, edited some stuff, which is cool. But then like, I was so busy with work. I let it fall off and just quit, like gave up. I really gave up. It was just, I was so busy. I was like, man, it was on a back funnel. I don't want to do anything on my day off. Cause, and we've, I've talked about this before. So now that I have a good quality of life balance, like, I'm like, why am I? I have no reason not to be doing this. Hey, I, I enjoy it anyways. And so let's just, it's fun to do. I get to, I play how I play and enjoy and have fun. And then I take those moments and put them out. And, uh, you know, the people ideally at the end of the day get to watch and enjoy, you know, consume. But at the end of the day, my overarching goal is for people to take that, you know, bring them some kind of energy, like bring them joy, bring them excitement. Something just like how I get from watching videos like Good Mythical Morning, I like a lot. I like to watch them. It's cool to watch. It's fun. It's interesting. That energy that they give me and other people who do this type of stuff, I'd like to give that to people. And uh, and that's that's my overarching goal with it entirely. And I've always, when I was been young, it's been like a dream to be able to get paid to play video games because I just... I really enjoy it. You know, it's a form of artwork, just the construction of it. I didn't want to build them because I went to a, a field trip and learned about how much with the kind of details. And I was like, that's not exactly what makes me like tick. And so, but I love being able to, you know, play them and go on these adventures and be connected with people across the world. My friends that live in different states and different areas all at the same time. I think that's just magical. And so in that realm is what makes me enjoy them so much. And, uh, and so I was, I, I've always wanted to be able to get paid to be able to play them. And so this is an instance for a, you know, I can do what I love, like as a passion project and just do it from passion because I would do it free because it's fun. And then it becomes something in the future that does actually earn money, but by producing fun and, you know, enhancing people in a way that is the outcome just happens to come money with it at Sunday, you know, maybe that's enough to do full time. You know, I'm not yeah. rushing. It's going to be, I expect like seven to 10 years if I'm trying, uh, you know, not the hardest I can, but I'm just trying for long term. that maybe that's a reality. And uh, I've tried long enough. It will be. So I'm just, I'm doing it because it's fun. I'm just watching it grow is really cool. But yeah, I made a YouTube channel to wrap back in. Uh, Shebang is my name. Are you okay, bro? I'm trying to figure out if that's the bus or not outside my window. Go take a peek. Uh, I got this. Uh, oh. uh, so Shebang is my name, like the whole Shebang. Uh, I, I got that. Actually, I think I was watching. I was trying. Like, what's my name going to be? And I wasn't trying to have a deadline. I wanted to be something I liked, short and catchy. Um. And so at one point, I actually think I was watching Tim the Tatman play, if anyone knows who that is. And um, that guy's really funny if you don't, Brandon. And no, so watching sounds so familiar. Tim, Tim the Tatman play, and I think he was just like, man, that guy like whipped out the whole shebang or something. And I was like, shebang? I want my name to be shebang. And uh, it just, it flows. It sounds good. I like it. it makes, I like it. It's why it's my name. I like it. And so I made my name shebang. Um Short, sweet sounds good. S H A B A N G, Sha Bang. And on YouTube, also on TikTok at Shebang Official. Uh, I care more about the YouTube 
it's just because I like I don't know I like the platform and how it works and everything the most. Hey, but, uh, you know what? Give me a second. I think I heard somebody knocking the door. Give me a second. I got this. <laughs> just walk off. <laughs> well, listen to see if Brandon's okay, but who knows? We're gonna see. Uh, let's see. I want to just ramble while he's gone for no reason. But yeah, made a YouTube. And uh, so YouTube channel is at Shebang. And uh, the logo, actually, well, this is it. This is kind of what the logo looks like. Y'all can see it totally backwards because not doing it right here. Actually, I could share it to the screen, but, uh, well, Brennan's gone, so it won't show it. But, you know, it's a bright, kind of thirsty, refreshing logo, right, I made. And uh, while following, like, a video, kind of. Not some stuff. and But, yeah, I, you know, if you guys love to come check it out, what I got to this point when you were talking about your growth and stuff is what made me start talking about this is that I've started posting YouTube shorts. And because uh, that was my thing, like, I want to make long videos. They need to be, like, 10 minutes, but they need to be, like, engaging. And then it's like, you know, I want to do that. Yeah, but then it's just, like, there's not always, like, to me, it just seems like a 10-minute thing. I don't want to just make stuff without a purpose. And so... I started posting. I was like, YouTube shorts, like they're so big. I was listening to Red Link talk about it on Ear Biscuits. And I was like, dude, why am I like YouTube shorts are doing like really well and the YouTube's promoting it and everything? I'm like, well, why am I not even like, why am I not doing YouTube shorts? Like, so I went and made one. The first one I made got like, no, hold on, shorts, uh, 1.5K views, like 31 likes. And I was like, wow, dude, that's freaking crazy. And that kind of spark was just like, why is she doing this? You're just playing, and you took a moment that that was funny, or you enjoyed, and then just shared it, and look, look, you know, quite a few people saw it, and that kind of yeah. like gave me a spark, you know, that I was like, dude, that's awesome, and like I could do this every day easily, and um, and so, I'm like, why am I not? That's it's not hard. Now I may play for three hours to get that cool moment, you know, but or so on and so forth, but I was like, it's worth it. And so now I've, I post it every day. I just, it's just start, started me posting now for like a week. And it's actually, actually been a week. It's been five days. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. Wait, five? Five or six days. We, we're not going to get the details here. But yeah, um, I, I, yesterday I broke my highest viewed video so far and most likes in the same video, which was um, one point almost 2K views. And then I, I had like 50 likes. Uh, no, I got 48. It's weird because it showed like 55, but now the likes are less. I don't understand how that even works. But uh, And it also had like 20 more views, which now doesn't show either. It now shows like minus 10. So I thought I was going to hit 2K, but I didn't. But apparently, yeah. So that's cool, man. And it was just like I saw a glitch. I was like, this is crazy. I've never seen this. Have y'all seen this? And like I posted that, you know, 20 seconds of showing uh, that. And Oh, oh, what? you're talking about the. Oh, you talk, I thought you were like telling you stories. Okay. Yeah. What? No, I, th I thought you were telling, like, posting that online about the, about the, like, negative 10 and other when you said, uh, have you seen this glitch? No, 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 no. I'm, I'm talking about, like, the clip. Yeah, have you all seen this glitch where the stuff was, like, green in the map, but it seemed like it was almost a part of it? And, uh, and so that was my most viewed video so far, YouTube short wise. And, uh, but yeah, I mean, I'm starting, I'm uploading every day. And uh, I think that's easy to do. I, I think that this should be a baseline because it's not overextending myself because they are short. They're just a bite. They're a little more than 60 seconds. So it's a clip. And with something like that, I can easily do that every day. And they're also going to monetize shorts next year. I don't know how that's going to look, but it'd be really cool. Yeah, sometime next year. Way. Sometime next year, they're going to be monetized and all that. I don't know exactly how they're going to do it. I just know they're going to do it and. Honestly, I don't think they can mess it up because the only other competition for shorts... Well, I mean, you got Instagram and Reels to yeah. get monetized for those. But TikTok... TikTok doesn't pay you crap. Really? No, 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 no. You can get like a million views and all that and get paid like maybe 70, 700 bucks. Really? How do you know this? You looked looked it up? No, no. Like uh, some content uh, content creator that uh, that I follow... He, uh, he, like, content creators I follow have talked about, like, how, yeah, they get a bunch of views, but they don't get, like, TikTok's monetization and, like, the creator fund and all that is, yeah, is caca. Well, it's here's caca. the thing. Like, yeah, I'm on TikTok. Yeah, I'm on YouTube. Yeah, I would like them to make money. But that's not my goal right now. It's a cool future. But yeah. 
my thing right now is I want to build a community of people. That's what I want. And yeah. uh, b- because then you build this community of people just like the community of mythical beasts, which are the people who like good mythical morning and are fans. They call them mythical beasts. Yeah. That community, that's really what I want. I want to build this community of people that are together that like, oh, I do things or I go play with the community or I chat with the community or they watch – they I stream and they're in the chat with me and the – you know, like a community bringing people together. Like that's what I want to well, make. See, what you can, well, what, this is one of the main reasons I did TikTok and all that. And like one of the creators mentioned, TikTok is not where you go where you want to make money. But right now, TikTok is the best way, right? It's one of the best ways right, right now to gain the following and all that, to get yeah. a following and all that. And then, you know, you can just slightly mention, like, hey, you guys, you know, I'm also on this, this, and this. Although mm-hmm. I, apparently you have to be careful sometimes because from what some of them have said, they don't like it when you mention YouTube or Twitch. Really? So the videos uh, will do worse? Because you're driving them away from the platform. Apparently TikTok does not like it when people mention Twitch or YouTube. So they always say the red app, the blue app, or, or something like, or the oh, purple app or something like that. Oh, wow. I, I don't know how true that is, but a couple of them have mentioned that. Dude, that has Although, like, to be th- remotely makes sense. If I had that app and I was programming it as a business, if I would not want the places that are going to drive traffic away from my app to do really well, unfortunately, because I am trying to run a business. And uh, and I I wouldn't be surprised if it's like that, honestly. But like, uh, but here's the thing, though. You can add a link that connects to your YouTube and Instagram, though, yeah. but you can't. But that's weird, though. But anyway, but anyway um, you're so blurry right now. I don't know if it's going to look like this, but your quality, it's not your camera not focused. It's like your internet not working out for some reason. Maybe. I, I don't know. Uh, maybe you have the localized. Am. Yeah. Maybe the localized will uh, fix it, but like, you know. Yeah. So maybe yeah, that's. Like, as, as I was saying. Yeah. I mean, maybe. I mean, not to cut you off, but maybe it's just a visual thing for me, but it won't come out that way. Yeah. So, but, but yeah, I mean, that's pretty much all I've got for there. Do you have any other points? I have two I can rattle off in 10 seconds. Let's see. Um, let's see. I mentioned uh, me competing in the tournament. I mentioned the interview. That could, that, that's the other one that I can mention. The TikTok. Um, just nothing just really major has happened. Though. Just really me. Uh, I, I forgot to do that again, dang it. Uh, uh, that was something I forgot to do. That I just remembered about, but... um. Well, Nothing for me, really. I only have like, like I went to, you know, I went to, I went to three weddings recently. Wait, yeah, the Kansas trip, the wedding. I went to a wedding with Victoria, but the day before that, I went to a wedding of our friend Seth. I went to his wedding, uh-huh. drove back that night, no, that morning, went back to Austin and went to another wedding that evening with Victoria. So I've been to a couple weddings in a few months. And uh, which is fun, entertaining, good time. And then also went to uh, hunting. Hunting season started now, so I've been hunting. Shot a whitetail the other day, and I'll probably, I'll definitely go and get another deer or two here at the, with the rest of the time I have at the year. Hopefully, might be a weekend or only two left. Unfortunately, just because, you know, you got things going on when you become an adult. <laughs> yeah, and as you get older too, which is like, like, uh, like it, it's weird to thing is like we're to talk about that, but like you know, it's kind of true and all that. But anyway, the only thing I can think of is like you know, I'm going to Mexico, which is last time I went was like uh, yeah. uh, 2019 is the last time I went. This I'm going back this year, wait, tw- not, not 2019, 2020, yeah, 2020 was the last time I went to Mexico. I'm going again this uh, this December. I already have the week off and everything, so I'm like, if the place burns down, it burns down and all that. Well, there you go. Unplug your sensei's like, and it's sensei's. like I will. It's like I will be in Mexico. You guys, good luck, especially if Avatar. Yeah, Ooh, there you go. Because I'm leaving well, when that gets released. Yeah, I'm, a, I'm assuming places are going to be bombarded. I don't really unintentionally. Know, but... I am leaving when that gets released. Unintentionally, I'm like, Godspeed, have well on y'all. That was unintentional. I'll be eating my body weight in tamales. Damn, dude. Oh man, you should. I mean, if you if you just have to, well, I was gonna say bring some tamales back and freeze them. I'll get them. But like, you're gonna have to bring back a shit ton of tamales and travel like 
a long no, time with them. That's probably. I, I don't think they'll let us cross the border with them. Maybe I don't think they'll let us. It is food. Mm, yeah. Okay, that's a good point. Don't worry about it. It's too much trouble to get a tamale from Mexico to the United States. We don't need to go through that. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> well, uh, right, you rattle off your two things. Oh wait, did you, did you already do that? Yeah, that's called. Uh, uh, oh, oh yeah, waiting and waiting you've been and thinking. And uh, instead of us having like that dead space, so. But yeah, that's it. We made our way out of here. I'm always the outro guy, which I'm more than happy to do. And uh, so, thanks you guys. Thanks you guys. Thanks for being here, and uh, you know, making it this far. And we appreciate you. Thanks for being part of the community. And uh, you know, come check us out on our various things that we're doing. Now, I got a thing that I'm doing. So you got Brandon. You got us for the long haul. You got the Let's Go Pokemon podcast, or Let's Go a Pokemon podcast. Yep. You said yup, so y'all figure it out. He didn't get, he didn't help you out at no, all. Oh no, no, no! You have the second one. Let's go a Pokemon podcast. Okay, now you can search it easier. And then uh, me, Shabang, on YouTube, Shabang. It's Shabang official. Wait, no, Shabang official on TikTok. All right, let's get an outro for here for Long Haul right. Podcast. Thanks for being here. Check us out on Instagram at for Long Haul Podcast on the bottom of the screen. If you're watching us, if you're not watching us, I mean you can't see us. You get to go where you want to be, but if you want to have video, it's here for you. If not, you can get us wherever else you get us. So, also, you can email us at ftlhpodcast at gmail.com, just like for the long haul. ftlhpodcast at gmail.com emails us or anything, sponsorship information, all that kind of good stuff. Let's talk. And we happen to have a YouTube channel, like I mentioned. If you want video, you got it. It's right here. Come check us out. Put us on in the background. If you don't want to watch us, want some background noise going on, helps us out too. So another thing for you. So thanks for being here. See you guys in the next one. Happy holidays. If you don't come back until then, yeah. but ideally you do. Either way, enjoy yourself. We'll see you soon. You guys have a good one.